This video is a simple guide to help you get started in technical writing. I've been writing articles for the last four years and I've written over 300 to 400 articles on different platforms. And I get asked questions a lot around technical writing. One of which is how can I get started with technical writing? Some would ask me, where should I write? What topics should I write on? How can I make money from technical writing? Maybe you have questions like this or you are interested in the technical writing field, then this video is for for you. In this video, I'll be sharing four simple steps on how to get started in this field. At the end of this video, I'll also be sharing some resources, some tools, and also some advices that can help you in this journey of technical writing. The first step is that when getting started with technical writing, don't worry about a niche. One of the things I've seen a lot when people are advising others on technical writing is they will tell them to find a niche or area of focus. Don't get me wrong, that is not a bad advice. The only problem with that advice, as I have seen it with a couple of people instead of them writing now they are still trying to find out what is my area of focus do i want to write on front end do i want to write on databases do i want to write about figma they keep trying to answer all these questions and when they cannot answer it immediately then comes procrastination they never get to actually start writing articles so finding a niche is good it helps you find your direction or helps you prioritize what kind of articles to write but my advice is that if you don't have have a clear focus of what you want to focus on as a writer just start from anywhere and along the way on the journey you will get to discover what you want to focus on or what you enjoy writing on i've seen a couple of people who used to write on front end a lot and now they're writing on web3 so as you progress in your technical writing career your focus can change now moving on to the second step where should you write your articles there are several platforms online that allows you to write and publish articles and the two platforms I want to highlight in this video are dev.to and hashnode. As a technical writer, I started from dev.to before I started writing on my own personal website. And these are great platforms that makes it easy for you to write, publish, edit, and manage your articles. And you can also choose to create your own website or writing platform. But the problem with that is now you have to do something before you start writing you have to build your website first and that can also lead to procrastination i mean think about it how many of us would usually say oh i'm going to build my website i'm going to build my portfolio before the end of this month and it's already five months in and our website is not ready so i'd advise that even if you want to have your own website for your articles for start just use the platforms that already exist and make things easy then as time goes on just like me you can now create your own website and continue writing on there now if you're thinking about what my preference is between dev.to and hashnode i would say you can pick any they are both simple to use go on there create an account you have a dashboard and you can begin writing your articles now moving on to the third step what topic should you write on whenever i want to start writing articles whenever i want to kickstart this journey we're usually thinking about the big topics you know the topics that people haven't written on the topics that are new the topics that are shiny those are very useful those are relevant but you see again that it will also lead you to that state of procrastination when you are waiting for that big topic idea before you can start writing so what is my advice here my advice here is again write on anything you just learned something today write about it you just learned about a new feature in figma write about it what is your favorite extension in vs code write about it what problem did you recently solve in javascript write about it what are variables in python write about it we usually like thinking of these big topics that we feel like some of these small topics are irrelevant but a good place to start from as a technical writer is from these small topics stop running away from small topics you have knowledge of something and you'd like people to know about that thing you can write on it and i also have a separate video where i talk about how i get the numerous topics that i write on i'll also reference it in the video description for you to check out now moving on to the fourth step you have already decided what platform you want to write on you already have a topic in mind well now let's talk about the article structure and i want to start by saying that article structures are things that build over time so don't try to get your first structure perfect but a simple guide you can use for your articles is your introduction your body and your body
that sounds weird and your conclusion your introduction is what your article is all about what would readers learn from your article what was the inspiration behind this article i've written certain articles in the past where the inspiration was I came across this problem i solved the problem and in this article i'm going to show you how i solved the problem so your introduction is what helps the reader decide if this is something i am interested in and in some cases the title of your article may just be enough let's say your title is how to solve this problem in python i mean it's already clear what the article is about so you don't have to do so much work in the introduction now let's move on to the next part which is your body and it sounds weird i'm sorry the body of your article is what your article is about this can contain code samples illustrations whatever information you want to put but that is basically what your article is about and i also want to say it again you don't have to worry about the perfect body when perfect body that's even more weird but a simple advice i can just give you is if i should ask you for example how was a watch or how is a watch created just the way you describe the instruments needed to the process to attaching this handle attaching this handle attaching the case putting the screen and all of it just the way you would explain it to somebody in person that is also the same way you would just write it out don't worry about getting it perfect the first time just try as much as possible to make sure that you start from here and you take the reader to this point where they now understand what you promised in the introduction of your article and then to the last part which is the conclusion the conclusion is just a place to wrap up all that you have discussed and what i'll advise here is i can just highlight the important information from what you have talked about in your article for example as you have seen in this article this is why javascript behaves this way if this wasn't present in javascript it would behave differently but because javascript is programmed this way and that is why you get this result so this is the basic and the most common article structure but as time goes on you get to discover how best you want to express yourself when writing articles and these are the four simple steps you need to get started in technical writing to be honest getting started in technical writing is not very difficult it's pretty simple the work only comes in as you have to grow as you have to become more knowledgeable as you have to build that experience that can make you hireable i also want to share some tools that you might need to excel in technical writing and there are a bunch of them online two that i want to talk about is number one understanding markdowns markdown is a syntax like a way for writing documentation and it is pretty common in the tech industry especially in the area of documentation on hash node you write your articles in markdowns on dev.to you write your articles in markdown even on my website i made sure i implemented markdown because it is quite easy to write now what i mean by this is for example if i'm writing an article and i want to create an heading i can just use one hash symbol which is for the first level heading or i can use two hash symbols for the second level heading if i want to create a code block i can use back ticks or triple back ticks if i want to create the link i can use square bracket and parenthesis and there are a bunch of features in markdowns i would leave a markdown documentation in the video description for you to check out and the second tool i want to share is grammarly and on the free version you can paste your article there and then you can get grammar errors type typo errors and all those things like that there are more errors i can catch if i pay but i like the free version i mean who doesn't like free things so these are just the two tools i want to two tools hmm these are just the two tools I want to talk about in this video and also I want to talk about some resources that can be very helpful for your technical writing journey. The first resource is the Google Technical Writing course. There are a lot of gems there. Second resource is writing.dillionmegida.com and that's a website where I write different articles on technical writing. It can be also helpful for you. And the third resource is my technical writing playlist here on YouTube. I have a playlist where I group several technical writing videos and on there I answer different questions like you know how do you get your topics should you write on something that has already been written before and different questions i get on technical writing so if you also have technical writing questions that i probably haven't answered yet you can let me know in the comments of this video and i can make a video on that so this is pretty much all you need to get started into the technical writing space there are a lot more ways you can grow while you're in this space i want to just end this video with two advices that can help your journey the first advice is consistency and feedback 
is very important in your writing journey. The more you write, the more you learn how to write. The articles I write today are far better than what I used to write before and that is because I've been writing consistently and I have discovered along the way different ways that I can improve how I express myself. Like I said also, feedback. When people tell you oh, this wasn't clear enough or I think an image will be helpful in this scenario or I think an example will be helpful in this scenario, be open to feedback because that's a very great way you can grow. To be honest, you cannot get your first article perfect because if your first article is perfect, what are you going to do in your second article? And the second advice I want to share with you is that in this whole technical writing career, don't just focus only on the readers of your articles. Your readers are benefiting from your articles in a lot of ways and that is a good thing, but you are also benefiting from your articles. You are benefiting in the sense that you are probably making money from it or you are learning or you are building a portfolio. And if you'd love to know more about why I say don't just focus on your readers, I have a video covering that subject. It should be somewhere on the screen. You can watch it and hopefully that encourages you to also focus on yourself as much as you focus on the readers of your articles. I'll leave important links that I've mentioned in this video in the video description. You can check them out and good luck in your writing journey. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments.